good start to the morning. Just getting the camera set up and uh, had a run. I'm at my local River Ouse. It's on the final running of the season. Beautiful fish. Nice way to start the day. So I'll just get him back. Someone's had to go in there over the years. But I'm just going to go and get him back. Get him recast. And we'll do the introduction like I was just planning to do. <coughs> Look at them teeth. As I was about to say, good morning. Welcome to the bank, some local river ooze. We're on the uh, final running of the season now. And including today, there's actually only eight days left. So I've decided to come out for the morning, early afternoon, to an area where I know there's loads of silverfish at the moment. Um, I did fish here about a week and a half ago and had a couple of pike, one fifteen and a half, so I know there's some about. And as you could see then, just as I set the camera up, rudely interrupted by a very welcome sight indeed, Mr. Jack Pike. Uh, that fell to a uh, sardine just over the near shelf. So like I say, it's the, uh, it's the final running. It's got the umbrella up because it might be a little bit chilly wind later. There's, uh, there's a cold snap on the way. So it's a case of make hay while the sun shines really. I've seen a lot of fish topping as well. Small fish in one or two decent fish tops. So hopefully might, uh, if that's anything to go by, we might get one or two runs. Just talk you through what I've got, me uh, right hand rod, I'm actually fishing a sardine against the far shelf, bottom of the far shelf. The middle rod, I've got a little ounce and a half roach on a light lead, just on the near enough halfway up the far shelf, oh, that's the roach rod, yeah, there's someone playing about with it, right, here we go. Set this up to see if I could get a zander. Well, we're into something. Let's grab the net. So you know, I set this up to see if I could get a zander, light bomb, small hooks, top of the far shelf, just thought, see if there's any zander about before it gets too light. See where the hooks are, whether the net it or chin it. Another nice start. Not a big fish. That's the bomb unhooked. So just let her. Just let him rest, him rest a little bit, uh, still very lively. And the other rod, looks like I've got a sardine just over the near shelf. So I've had a bit of action already. So I'll get this fish on the mat, get him unhooked, and I'll catch up with you very, very shortly. <laughs> very, very lightly hooked, which is good. Two jacks to start the day. Look at the belly, absolutely chomping on plenty of fish. Let's get him back and we'll catch up with you a bit. Hopefully, might get one or two more. One towards the size would be nice. <laughs> Just 
a bit of activity. Thought he'd come off. Swimming towards me. It's on that little tiny roach. Nice bite. Beautiful fish. Don't want the uh, bordering on a low double. But she's in the net. That's what you call a lively fish. Beauty of these quick release swivels. That's it. Everything's away. Gonna say we'll let her just recover for a bit. Oh. Just let her recover for a bit and we'll uh, get her on the mat. See what we got. Hee <laughs> hee wader. And she's 17 and a half pound. That is an absolute beast of a fish look at that absolutely beautiful proper made up with that that's the fourth 17 pounder that I've had this season so there we go 17 and a half pound of pure muscle happy days Oosh. <laughs> proper made up with that fish it'd gone quite quiet that came on that small roach line again and uh yeah 17 pound eight so i could say that's the fourth 17 pounder i've had this pike season actually this year i've had two on the river lark one on the cut off channel and now i had one on the ooze so yeah i mean that came to a little roach probably about an ounce and a half thought thought she'd come off but she, she was swimming towards me at a fair rate of knots. So, yeah, absolutely made up with that fish. So, yeah, I've had, I've had two on the roach line. I've had one on the left-hand rod. I've dropped one off on the right-hand rod. So, all in all, it's turned out to be an absolute brilliant morning so far. I think it's time for a brew. <laughs> Bring on the pikes. Come on.
That's another decent fish. Good double figure fish. So just let her rest a minute, get her on the mat, unhook her a quick way, and I'll catch up with you and let you know what we got. <laughs> well, this is a beast of a fish. I won't show you the other side because it's got a bit of a sore on it, but look at that. That's 21 pound three of pure muscle. Absolutely lovely big girl that is. It's my first 20 this point season, so I'm proper made up with that. Happy days. Oosh. Wow. I don't know what to say. That is just, I would say that's probably made my season. Um, I wanted to try and catch another 20 pound fish this season. I had, uh, I had a 22 last year. I didn't actually think I was going to catch one out of the ewes. I thought it was going to come out the lark. But yeah, that's a hell of a fish. That really is a hell of a fish, and I'm so chuffed to bits, absolutely chuffed to bits. Um, came on the left hand rod, I just chopped up a couple of bits of mackerel, just chucked it in on the inside, left it about half an hour, and I just brought brought the rod in within two minutes, it was away. Cracking fight, and uh, hopefully caught it all on, on film. Um, cracking fight, absolute cracking fish. So... Yeah, so I've had a 17 and a 21 all in the same session. Proper chuffed. Don't care if I don't get another run for the rest of the session. Hope I do, but uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Proper made up. See if we can get one or two more. <laughs> that last fish, as you can tell, got a little bit of gunk on my hands. That was little trout. So little trout there. Injected with some Predator Plus. So we'll just get me. You've got to be very, very careful because these are these are hypodermic needles. <clears throat> so So got the Bait Tech Predator Plus. Good old shake. So you got your syringe, and all I'll do is just put it in. Suck some up. Doesn't need to be a massive amount. A little bit goes a long way. So you've got that. You've got to be very, very careful with this next bit. So I prefer to just to do it on the floor. <clears throat> so all I'm doing is just injecting in the side of the fish. Just like that. Several places. And that <clears throat> is it. You see, make sure you put that needle away. And there we go. Just lovely. 
That'll dolly that bait as well. There we go. She's in the net. Happy days. That fell to a little small smelt just over that far side. Brilliant. But look at that gorgeous, gorgeous pike. That's number five of the session and I think that is probably a great way to end the session. I've had that 17 and a half in the 21.3 and I've had three round about this sort of size as well. Absolutely brilliant session and a few more to come before the season ends. I'll catch you next time on the bank. Oosh!